let's see what happens if I shoot him in the back. A real five. All right, let's rest. And then we will shoot him in the front and see if what kind of damage we get. He knew. 111. 111. One eleven. One eleven. Okay, so I do get backstab damage with the gun. I mean, it does like a sneak attack, so. But these things, I assume you cannot backstab them at all. One eleven. Alright, can I hit a moving target with this gun? Probably not. Can I shoot through walls with this gun? Let's try. No. <laughs> How about this fence? <laughs> he never saw it coming. Yeah, it is kind of fun playing with the hunting rifle. I just wish I had a lot more bullets. Secure the area, and then we'll resume. That's good. Alright. Now we will enter the houses, search them all, and then we'll dismantle the place. Do not search that. produces heat without losing its mass. This may not sound much, but this powers our industry and keeps us warm. An infinite source of energy. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Want to search? Get this fish real quick. Did not hear it at all. They of course hear that. Yeah, 
I was actually trying to target this deer. I couldn't see what I was targeting because of all these trees. I can't even tell which way he's facing. I think he's facing... Oh, never mind. Do not touch. I will be back in 10 minutes. I think I've kind of got sidetracked because I was originally meant to. Uh... All right, hold on. We'll worry about the rest of that later. All right, so I searched this house, right? Yeah. Okay. Then did I search this house over here? building over here. Doors open, so I assume I did. Yes. So want the radio. Alright, um... So we have explored West Cutter. Alright, so we have... Alright, so we did finish exploring West Cutter. Um, let's head towards this decayed lodge. Park Ranger Cabin said something about digging. I don't quite remember. Let's go there real quick. Between the Hunter's Lodge and two nearest Riverside Shacks. I'm not sure what the Hunter's Lodge is, but here's two Riverside Shacks. It's supposed to be like something up around here. Right, well, we'll head there very soon. Of course you know I'm here. Why wouldn't you? So that's not the same bridge I lowered. Um, we'll hug this shoreline a little bit more. See if, what I've missed. There's a fishing I should stop just shy of. Realistically, you might as well just have F the fish. What you don't see is I go in my inventory every time to put put on my fishing pole, put on my fishing lure, and then when I'm done, I go in my inventory, remove my fishing pole, remove my fishing lure. This is like if the game made you equip your accessory to get the best out of cooking or something. Cut a 
of beef just right a side of potatoes. Start carving our way. Hmm, I might not be able to make this one until I can get rid of the rocks or something. Doge is not home. Okay, this side looks pretty good, so would I be able to probably not that way? This is probably the fastest way, but you have to have to go all the way around that rock. Let's try this way first. Well, we'll try this way first. Okay, here we go. Shoot, I should have equipped my Road Warrior outfit. I still don't know what this diggable thing is. So the hunter's cabin and two riverside most shacks. Is it supposed to be this thing? Or I thought it was a diggable location. So this is a loot area. But it's, it's like a couple bits of steel. Let's check the park ranger's cab cabin again. keeps burying their junk somewhere between the Hunter's Lodge and the two nearest Riverside Shacks. Hunter's Lodge, two nearest Riverside Shacks. I guess I'll just search that region for anything that might be diggable. Nobody respects the woods anymore. That's because there's nobody left. <laughs> All right, so that's done. All this is cleared out. Let's grab what steel I can and then rush back over here to install this link tower thing. I'm assuming I have enough steel by this point. Let's go ahead and swap out to the Road Warrior outfit, and we will go and collect our resources. I went ahead and ran over and made them make some iron because I do need that as well. And then I repositioned myself to resume the footage. <laughs> I can at least put a lot of time and planning and editing this, since I'm not a very active talker. These are the little things I do to try to make for the most enjoyable viewing experience. Ah, this is not the way to go. So I just have to work my way around this hill and I can get to the link tower. Alright, 
So this is going to take 10 of these and 10 of these. How <laughs> wildly do it's like it's straightened it up? Okay. You twisted and, the twisted and broken supports have been replaced. You fixed the structure and the innards of the link tower. Really? I, I replaced it? It looks like I just bent it back. Acquired map for Narrow's Vale area. Turning past. Okay, so this shuts off that skull. That shuts off this skull. Laser cannons. I mean, just put that somewhere, and I don't think the zombies can do anything to you. We'll head back, start making our way west, collect the machines I built. With my new titanium, I might be able to start upgrading some of my gear. And clear? Yes, I can upgrade this. I guess I do enough fishing, sure. Here we go again. Okay, give me a second to <laughs> restart the application. Safety first, I already read that one. West Cutter. It's the town I just left.
Gas is getting to my lungs. I need gas mask. Alright, let me think here. Guess we will start heading south then. To the new region. This should be Sunburnt Desert? Sunburn Desert? Something like that. Just trying to map down here. Clear the fog of war. Okay. I see him flying around on my minimap. I'm not sure what the importance of that is. Can I shoot him? Can I throw a knife at him? Cook this flank steak that's been waiting on me for a bit. Backstab critical hit chance. The gates of Undercrown are now open. Welcome, my children. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. A vulture knows an arrow made of stone does not fly far. I don't have an arrow made of stone, I have a hunting rifle made of mana beads. Onion rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like that's uh, the sound is working this time up for the cooking pot. I, I, if I remember right, I, I think the sound was happening after or something? I don't know. Max hit points plus five. If you follow the eastern road out of town, there's a strange gate there. What is the deal with that? Are we channeling Seinfeld now? Let's try shooting this thing. Okay, it, it selected it, but that only when I left clicked it. And not when I when I left clicked it, it selected it, but then it didn't even fire at him. 
when I'm right clicking now, or middle clicking is when you see the mouse cursor jump to the middle. It does that when I'm scrolling. Come on, game. He was totally selected. And the vulture does not fear a game that doesn't let you shoot right. Gotta take that shovel out of my scroll. It's gonna get me in trouble. I was holding it down, but I hadn't it locked on him. The best barbecue in the whole region. What is the secret ingredient? We'd love to tell you, but we can't. Gasoline? <laughs> I'm really not quite sure what they're implying with that. That's a quest there. Our unit was supposed to provide escort for a convoy with an important cargo passing through Pimaville. The problem is that the convoy is awfully late. We've been waiting for over half a day and we haven't heard anything. There's a lone checkpoint established at the halfway point of the route, but we haven't heard any confirmation from them about the convoy passing. The checkpoint, marked in the map with red, isn't that far away from here, but I'm terrified of venturing into that desert. It seems we just have to wait. 